First, I'm going to apologize. I'm unlike everyone else who was able to do this without notes. I, as you will learn from my story, I have some health issues that makes memory a little bit hard for me. So I'm going to have my handy dandy notes here. So my name is Shira Strongen. I'm a freshman at George Washington University, and I'm sicker than your average chick, quite literally. I had what most would consider a normal childhood. I went to school. I I was participated in musical theater, argued with my parents about homework, hung out with friends, pretty typical things. But there was always something that was kind of off. My body temperature was always about two degrees below normal. I would spike random fevers throughout the day, and I'd get sick very easily with infections that were incredibly hard to clear up. Still, it was nothing that concerned my family until a few weeks before my 10th birthday, I had an injury that served as the straw that broke the camel's back for underlying genetic illnesses that we were all blissfully unaware of. That trigger event was only the start of a now close to nine year medical mystery roller coaster where I am still searching for an answer. This roller coaster has led me to seeking medical care in 10 total states, receiving seven transfusions, relearning how to walk five times, and yes, I am in here in high heels tonight. <laughs> I had four major surgeries, only one of those surgeries was in my home state, and even then, not in my home county. And I was in the intensive care unit about two weeks before I started college and had to move entirely across the country. My illness has taught me that life is not about how much time you get because that's never a guarantee, but rather what you do with that time you're given. And my hope is to make a lasting positive impact. I learned early on that if I wanted to be heard, I'd have to raise hell and no one was going to come save me. I'd have to save myself. So I founded Sick Chicks, a nonprofit organization dedicated to uniting and empowering women with varying illnesses and disabilities because fighting the patriarchy is hard enough without adding fighting your own body to the mix. I've also been involved with legislative advocacy since the age of 13 and was very active in the fight for 21st century cures, potentially life-saving legislation that unfortunately is under threat from our current administration. The future is ours to fight for and there's no excuse to be complacent. So my advice to you is do not wait until you're all too familiar with the fragility of life to live ruthlessly. Make the most of every day. Speak up without fear of consequence. Tell people how much they mean to you, and don't be afraid to raise a little hell up now and again. Come on.